the space race has officially shifted to the moon, and the next major milestone is not another landing. It's long-term power. NASA is fast-tracking plans to deploy a 100-kilowatt nuclear reactor on the lunar surface by the early 2030s. This reactor is designed to power future lunar bases, mining operations, and nighttime missions when temperatures fall below minus 170 degrees Celsius. But the United States is not alone. China and Russia are jointly developing their own lunar fission reactor, intended for their planned International Lunar Research Station. Both sides understand the stakes. Whichever nation builds the first permanent, self-powered lunar base gains a long-term advantage in deep space exploration, off-world manufacturing, and access to lunar resources such as helium-3. NASA's reactor design is modular, heavily shielded, and engineered to operate for up to 10 years without refueling. China's system uses a compact fast neutron design optimized for long-duration outposts. This new phase of the space race is no longer about flags. It is about securing energy, infrastructure, and influence on the moon.